Depression is said to be the next major epidemic that's going to affect the capitalistic Western world. But what is depression? Uh, is it an illness? Is it an experience? Uh, and rather than get into uh, some kind of academic discussion about what depression is, uh, we can get into a chicken and egg d dilemma here. Instead of that, um, I'm wanting to demonstrate something so that we can explore together whatever the cause or whatever the understanding of depression might be, that we can find a way of being as helpful as we can to our client. And so instead of putting emphasis in this demonstration on what depression is as an entity, uh, the emphasis is more on what is the experience for this client and what can we do with this client so that uh, some useful change can happen, something can be learnt here for the client. And so by, by asking this person what she likes to do and finding out what the experience is for her, we get to have a conversation with a person rather than trying to treat a condition. Much more human, much more uh, satisfying for us and by and large more effective for the client. I've noticed that um, that very often there is a mood of resignation around when people complain of feeling depressed. And one way of looking at resignation is to think of it as a mood <clears throat> where we don't see any possibilities. And when such a mood is around for some time, it can move into our body and affect the way we hold our shoulders, our neck, our forehead, our face, and uh, sometimes a subtle shift in the body, a subtle change in the shoulders and the position of the head where we're looking can have quite a dramatic uh, effect on the general outlook for someone. So that if someone is uh, not seeing any possibilities and they're spending their whole time looking at the ground beneath their feet, it can make a big difference to help them to become aware of their body and maybe sit differently, maybe hold their shoulders back, maybe look a little higher. Uh, you see a different world that way. And sometimes there are possibilities that become visible when we look there that are not visible when we look there. This conversation uh, was a very short conversation, not more than 20 minutes. And because it was a conversation with a particular person attending to her particular individual circumstances and experiences, it was a very substantial conversation for her. And 12 months afterwards, the uh, changes that she uh, experienced, started to explore, have persisted. And uh, it's a delight to see that and to know that sometimes a relatively small intervention can just help to tip the general direction that someone's going in, to start to, to nudge it in a different direction. Obviously, the person in this demonstration was not suicidal. She was not... Uh, would not be put in the category of severely depressed. But nevertheless, in offering this demonstration, I think there are opportunities for us to observe and explore the subtleties of her experience and find ways of extrapolating that and the conversations that could follow into more severe uh, situations. I'm very grateful to her for her generosity in allowing us to be present to her experience and to her learning. 
being willing to have the conversation. I appreciate that. And um, I'm wondering, is it okay to video this for future teaching purposes? Sure. Thank you for that. Tell us what sorts of things you've been up to lately that have been enjoyable, fun, pleasurable, uh, um, that you'd like to. I don't know. <coughs> Um, Pleasant Mother's Day, which was, uh, you know, a nice day to get everyone together, and I really okay. enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. And um, I've just resumed walking in the mornings around the tan, which I really enjoy. Okay. I find that gives me a focus for the day. Mm -hmm. um, do you, which way do you walk? Do you go down and then up, or up and then down? Down and then up. Okay. <laughs> Yes. It's always a dilemma. It, it is a dilemma, yes. I have you a have friend a... who tends to make those those decisions, so it's good. I just plod along. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, and I've got the dog, so she just dies. And, okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just basically more of the same. I've got one of my daughters doing year 12, and that's fairly stressful, so we're just mm. trying to keep... We've got one of those, too. Mm, good fun. Good boy, but... Uh, mm, good yeah. fun. Yeah. Complainants and visitors there. Absolutely. Yeah. Mostly, my, our fellows doing a lot of visiting. Visiting, yes, exactly. No, 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 I haven't got any work to do. No, no. no. I, I had a big complainant session last night, but that's another <laughs> issue. <laughs> well, we parents become complainants mm. when our <laughs> children are visiting uh, year twelve. True. Mm. Mm. So anyhow, that's a separate issue. We're not talking mm. about that. Mm. I imagine. But what what is it that we could talk about this morning that would be helpful to you that would make some useful difference to you? Well. I think um, um, I think I'm feeling depressed. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I'm finding it. Um, yeah, I think yeah, my partner suggested perhaps that I might be too. Mm. Mm. When you say depressed, what do you mean by that? What? Um, how would you describe your experience? I think I'm feeling perhaps. Um, Invisible. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Professionally, particularly. All right. Mm. <clears throat> so, it you, you would make a difference to you, I imagine, if you could find some way of being more visible professionally? Is that. Mm. What yeah. would that look like if you were to, to do that? What? If that were to start to happen? I think I'd like feeling. Um, I feel like I'm losing my confidence, losing my edge. So I guess if I stuff that I've done a zillion times mm -hmm. and have had affirmation and know that I do it well, I'm just finding that it's I'm not feeling as comfortable about doing it. So I guess Yeah, I don't know whether that's uh, losing your edge or gaining wisdom, I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> you know yeah, there's some things that, that, yeah. I don't know. But um, when you think of times in the past when you've been invisible and you've decided it's time for me to start to appear, how have you managed that? How have you kind of reconnected with that, with your confidence and your edge? I suppose by putting myself out there and making myself confront whatever it is. Oh, okay. But I'm doing that. You are? I am doing that and okay. I'm still not coming away feeling... Mm. I'm finding I'm going over stuff in my head after and I've done done things this, you know, and it's working well and I know all of that and yet it's not, I'm not getting, I can't seem to let, give myself that I've done it well oh. or that... Um, when you've been able to walk away from things in the past and let yourself know, oh, I did that well, so that you you kind of put it aside, put it behind mm. you. How have you done that? How do you how have you managed that previously? I mean, it's a it's a it's not a small question. No. Because no matter how well we do something, mm. if we look back, we can say, well, I could have done a little bit better, or a little mm. bit different, or what, but. You have been able to walk away from things in the past and said, okay, I did that well, or I did that well enough, or I did it as well as I did, or something, I don't know what. Mm. And you've been able to walk away from it and feel okay about it. How did you do that then? I suppose physically, you know, we tend to debrief after we've done 
in, in a team. Okay. That's what you've done in the past? Yeah, but right. I'm not so much part of a team anymore. Oh, okay. Actually. Mm-hmm. So, it's more you know, individual. we might be your team now. We, this yeah. might be a debriefing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, but there has been a team debrief in the past and yeah. that's not happening so much now? No, it's not, okay. actually. No. Oh, well, it looks like you hadn't realised that or you hadn't been no, as clear. Really? No. Yeah. And perhaps that, yeah, that the affirmation or the, the system of the debriefing within a group, mm. yeah. I mean, I can do it for myself and tend to yes, and obviously yes, have... Yes, yes. Um, benchmarks to meet. Yes, but um, there's something different when you have a team, when that happens yeah, as a team. Yeah. And that's not been so no. prevalent recently. No. Okay. Now, in more recent times, when there has been some uh, affirmation coming from outside of yourself, how has that happened? Um, oh, probably at at, um, at team and marketing meetings, those sorts of things, when I have to present whatever I've been doing. Um, but they, but I, they are weekly. I don't go weekly. I go fortnightly. So. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you do go and you do uh, say what you've been doing, and the... it's not as impactful because in fact what I'm currently doing is not our core business. It's a side okay. facet. Oh yeah. So it's perhaps not as impactful on the rest of the, the so team. So it's not so centre stage, it's no, more in the wings no, kind that's of. that's right, yeah. So it's that fits answer, with being, right. not being so visible because you're, you're not right in the, in the yeah. core of things, you're yep. more on the edge. Yep. Okay. Mm. And you don't like that. No, I don't. No. So if you wanted, I'm not saying you should, but if you wanted to, to come from the wings and be more central, more core, or if you were, without doing that, if you were... Yet yeah, I left the centre. Yeah, yeah. That was well, my choice okay. to do. So if you, if you don't want to do that, just how can you, if you wanted to be more visible mm-hmm. without needing to re... Uh, yeah. without needing to get to the core, yeah. if you were to follow what you've done out of your choice, and say, I've done this and I want to be more visible. How would you go about doing that? Well, I'm, I'm hope, yeah. Um, partly by exploring new professional options for me. Oh, you're already doing that. Mm. But how's that going to, mm. how's that in the short term yes, going I don't to? Know. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's just say. You go to sleep tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You wake up tomorrow, and somehow you th- you you get the feeling, get the experience. Okay, I am now. I haven't done anything different, but I am now visible. People can see who I am, mm-hmm. and I'm willing to be who I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you wake up tomorrow morning, and that's what's happened. What do you notice? You wake up visible, yeah, confident, mm. and I I feel I would physically even go back to work the way I used to, which was feeling um, uh, taller. Taller. Mm. Okay. Um, like you just did in the control. just you sat in the chair. Did Did you notice you kind of got a little bit taller in the chair then? Oh, said, okay. You said, well, I could go back to work like I used to, toilet, oh, yeah. and you kind of went like yeah, that. Your yeah. head moved up about, I don't know, oh, that right. much. Yeah, mm, yes, because... Uh-huh, oh. and your shoulders, do you notice? Yeah. Mm, I oh. just, yeah, mm, mm, mm. So you'd would go to work taller. Feeling, hmm, more in control. More in control. Mm. 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 Now, you're in a, a, a state of transition at the moment. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know where you've been and you know that you want to move from that, Mm -hmm. you know generally where you're going. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of on track about that, but you haven't arrived there yet. No, no. 
So it would be very strange if you felt totally confident yes, I guess that's, that's about, the about something too. that you, you're just sure. kind of starting to yeah. learn. But you, you, if you were to look, it looks to me like you're on track. I don't know how it looks to you. Mm. Given where you've been and where you're going, you, you're but moving in the right direction. There is direction. a pathway, yeah. Yeah, well certainly, um, yeah, that, that makes sense. I can see that, I mean, I've done what I've done, but I hadn't yeah. actually connected it as a, an orchestrated path. It was more leapfrogging. But, oh, okay. Mm. Well, leapfrogging is one way mm. of getting from here to there. Mm. Um, and I'm interested, though, in, in how you can get more affirmation outside from outside of yourself about this. Perhaps you're getting some from me at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm wondering whether there are other people around in this course with you who you might be open to. Yes, and I realised that coming in today, I really enjoyed reconnecting with people. Okay, so mm -hmm. this might be a new team. Mm, that's true. Yes. See, one of the problems with work is that it's my business. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you're part of a team, but at the end of the day, you still employ people. Yeah. You make decisions on people's bottom lines, and it's yeah. a very fine line. So you tend yeah. to not necessarily believe, if should you get affirmation anyway, and you don't sure. necessarily. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've, I haven't always worked in our business. I've worked independently of that. And I guess I'm missing that's probably going back. Yes, so I did feel that coming in today. Mm. So there's a dilemma that you it's your business. Mm. <clears throat> and at the same time that it is your business and it is your concern, at the same time you're starting to move away from that. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit like that picture of a person on a boat. You know, they've got one foot on the jetty and yes, one foot on the boat. Yes, yes, that's, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, I go up. But if you don't, if you don't get that, it one way or the other, that's right. Know. Either way, yeah, yes, that's exactly right. Mm. <laughs> but you, you, you're, you're not about to fall in the water yet. But you can feel mm. there's, there's, yes. there that's is some, right. some movement happening, mm. and and it's good that it's happening because you actually wanted to distance yourself yes. from the core business yep. experience. True. Yes. So the discomfort that you're feeling is somehow. It makes sense in that way mm, that it's it does. kind of part of the deal. Yes, yeah. Now, <clears throat> I wonder, let's just imagine some time passes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's now late November. It's a Friday evening, late November. It's graduation. Okay? Mm -hmm. And there are this group of people here and other groups from other courses. We've all been in this room and uh, uh, I call people's name out in turn and I call your name out and I shake your hand, say congratulations and give you your diploma. And there's an opportunity for you to say something about what you learnt in this course, what you gained from being in this, what, just you know, something you might want to say. What might you want to say? You've got to the end of it, you've got your diploma. You completed the, all of the requirements of the course. You've learned a lot. And you've got that diploma and you're holding it in your hand. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? What do you say? How does your body? Are you, are you hunched? Are you tall? What do you... Oh no, I, I think I'd be feeling really chuffed that I... that you and presumably the group have, have felt that I can do it. That I can master the okay, and the and techniques and all of the, the how invisible are you feeling? No, I'm not feeling invisible. Everybody is looking at you. Mm. Everybody is acknowledging. Mm. Everybody is celebrating with you mm. what you've achieved. Yeah, so I'm part of a team again. Part of I'm team not feeling invisible. How depressed do you feel? Yeah, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Okay. Mm. 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 So throughout today, maybe over the next while, would you notice when you're feeling that sense of connection with the people in this course? Mm, I did this morning. Mm. Okay. Mm. And when you, when you were com coming here, when you got here, you did that? So perhaps could you continue to do that? Just notice that when it's... A, when it's it'll be there more than you notice. Mm. Yes, I certainly... I'm sure I... When I was looking forward to coming, so I'm yeah. sure I would... Nice. So if you if, if you would 
just notice, be just even a little more aware and appreciative of the... Mm. Of the feeling. Yeah. 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 And also, would you notice, maybe even intentionally do it, but also notice when it happens, when you're feeling just a little bit taller. Mm. What, that, what that, notice when your shoulders or your head is. Mm. And maybe even at times, if you notice this, do that intentionally and see what happens. Mm. Sometimes our experience leads and our body follows. Yeah. Sometimes our body can lead and our experience can follow. Sometimes when we stand tall, we can feel tall. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So what's different now than when we started this conversation? It's a short time ago. Mm, I, I actually feel straighter. Okay. Mm, I do. Mm. And there's a smile on your face now. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, I do. It looks yeah. like you're enjoying that. Mm. I was. Mm. Mm, it's good. Mm. And again, that straightness is something mm. that might, you might want to give more attention to and be more aware of, mm. because it's probably there a lot more than you've noticed. Yes, it's the noticing, isn't it? It may be your tallness and your straightness, maybe your body is on your team. Yes. Yeah. Anything else that we could talk about that, are, that would make a useful difference to you? To you? No, I don't think so, thank you. It's been mm. very enlightening. Yeah, because problems are very enheavening, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they make us feel heavy. You know, like the, <laughs> the one of your shoulders going, oh, there's a problem. Yes, that's right. Feel lighter. Do. That's mm. right, mm. yeah. Mm. 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 Uh, one of my teachers, uh, uh, the Swami Beyond Ananda, says he knows when he's met a, uh, a very uh, wise guru because his pockets are always enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> you can be enlightened <laughs> just, just from the team. Yeah. There can be a contribution. Yeah. You don't have to be. Mm. Mm. Is that a place we can stop? Okay. Indeed. Thanks, sir. Thank you.